That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Come into my office. Who are you? How did you get in? Oh. Why didn't you say so, officer? Would you like a cigar? Drink, boys. It's terrible, boys. How can I help? They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? Explanation? Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using waybills. It's an organization of civic-minded individuals whose goal is to make the city a better place for its inhabitants, something I was proud to be asked to join. Are you saying that's something to do with me? Is that your point? I hope you have some proof of how I'm involved in this. I'll be happy to sue you for whatever you're worth. Rancho Escondido burned to the ground last night. That's one of my prestige developments. I'm a victim of these fires too, detective. <laughs> Are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes so that I can sell them new ones? The arsonists. Do you have any suspects? I didn't think so. The contractors I use for waybills. You suppose it could be any of them? I have a list of their names, if it would be of any help. Glad to hear it. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. My secretary will provide you with that list. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? Well, I want to help in any way I can, officers. The contractors I use for waybills. Do you suppose it might be one of them? I have a list of their names, if it would be of any help. My secretary will provide you with the list. On your way out. Boys, I've given you all the time I can spare. I'm a very busy man. Off you go and catch this maniac. You will excuse me now. That's enough for now, detectives. I hope that's all. Can we speed this up a little? My company runs many promotions. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not familiar with that one. And how many names on the list have not had a fire? You wouldn't make much of a lawyer, detective. If you're going to rely on statistics, then you better get them straight. Do you know who you're talking to, son? You want to use incendiary language like that with me? I suggest you should leave immediately. You can believe whatever you like, son. You're missing the vital ingredient called proof. My face is the brand. It's on all our advertising. Did you know that the mayor and the chief of police are part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Do you want to accuse them of murder as well? You come in here making stupid, baseless allegations and you think you can ruin my day. And well, we'll see about that. We work around them. Business finds a way. That's the American way. I'm not sure I like your tone, son. Progress is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually confined to the waste basket of history. To answer your question, yes, we would build around them if we had to. Most people see sense. And how exactly do you think you can prove that in a court of law, detective? Every developer is under time pressure, son. On one hand, you got the investors who want a return. On the other, the purchasers who want what they paid for. That's business. Now are we finished? One of our latest housing developments. It was due to open on the weekend. Or was before the unfortunate conflagration. Absolutely. Only the best for our returning heroes. I'm sure we do, detective. I tell you what. I'll have someone pull the paperwork from the archives and... Uh, Get back to you. <laughs> Son, you have me shaking in my boots. <laughs> Son, I've had enough of you and your fidgety friend. There's no way in hell you can prove that my materials were inferior. Every building is built to a budget, boys. Those buildings were inspected and fully insured by California Fire and Life. Investment of that magnitude demands it. Do you think that they'd vouch for the buildings without examining them? No offense, son, but you don't have the first goddamn idea what you're talking about.
Jack Kelso, Leland Monroe. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. You're a very witty man, Kelso. Substantially better. Are you haggling with me, Jack? Come around to my place at nine. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. You'll come? Oh, you crazy son of a bitch! How did you get in here? I'm bleeding to death! Get me a doctor! You sadistic bastard! What do you want? Fuck you, Jack! Oh, call me an ambulance already! It can't be stopped, Kelso. There's too much money at stake. Have some fucking mercy! Oh, thank God. <laughs> so that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. You want information, cocksucker, you get me some medical help. Not Casey. He did whatever Fontaine asked. He had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and then he went off the rails. I don't have a fucking name! He walked into bug sprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor! Kelso, you son of a whore! Give me a goddamn doctor! <laughs> that goddamn lunatic of yours is burning down our houses. Keep a voice down. Do you know how much these sons of bitches charge for lunch? Fuck them! He's your imbecile, Harlan. Get him under control or get rid of him. What? You certainly are a cold character, Harlan. I know about Kelso. I thought I could take care of it. No, I haven't. No, he's totally unreliable. But he has so many pernicious habits, he's got nowhere to run. Don't push me, Harlan. Get rid of the fruitcake. He's no longer necessary. I'll take care of Jack Kelso. For four years, the brave men of our United States Armed Forces fought gallantly on distant foreign shores to secure our freedom and our future. Now we have our boys home again, and Elysian Fields Developments would like to help you to secure their future. I'm Leland Monroe, and I'm here today to offer you every peacetime soldier's wildest dream. With our new house and land packages, your shining knight can rule his very own kingdom on a half acre block right here in the heart of Los Angeles. These are modern, elegant houses, priced competitively, and they're just the right size to fit growing families like yours. So make the call on Bradshaw 2250. Elysian Fields, building the American dream. America is the lucky country, and California is one of the finest jewels in America's crown. A land warmed by the sun and cooled by the freshest ocean breezes. A place of potential and prosperity. I am Leyland Monroe, folks, and today my company, Elysian Fields Developments, is offering you a chance to own a small piece of this great land for yourself. We're building sturdy, spacious houses, 800 square foot palaces on full half acre blocks, perfect for families looking to make a new life in a burgeoning city. Plus, I guarantee that our prices will put a smile on your face. So call us now, Bradshaw 2215, Elysian Fields, a quarter acre slice of victory. <laughs>